Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have issued their own statement on climate change action as senior royals grab headlines at the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow. Taking inspiration from the UN Climate Change Conference, a statement on the Duke and Duchess website, rkewell.com, spoke of the couple's long, standing commitment to the planet. The announcement read, as global leaders convene for COP26 to commit to Solutions for our climate crisis, all of us at Archul, led by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, share our pledge towards a more sustainable future by becoming net zero by 2030. Our co-founders Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have a long-standing commitment to the planet, both together and prior to their union, with global projects and partnerships. Dating back over a decade, nearly every activity in daily life results in the release of carbon into the atmosphere. And the sum total of those emissions is considered our carbon footprint. Here are some examples of what is part of that footprint, what we eat and how often we eat it, our transport and the frequency of it, our daily commute. Our use of electricity slash heating, our reliance on big industries that contribute to the problem, while we have actively made choices to offset and balance this carbon footprint. Now, with the tools provided by partner organizations, we know that we can all do better. We can be net zero. And this is what we pledge to do. The statement continued, we are a young company, but today, Archul joins. Our co-founders in committing to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2030, achieving net zero carbon emissions means making a series of choices over time to make that footprint as small as possible, while compensating for any remaining emissions through high-quality carbon removal projects. As an organization, we will work with an independent consultant to track all Archual related activities from our inception, internet use, commutes, and electricity in home offices. For example, to understand our collective footprint. This news comes after the Duke and Duchess revealed last month that they had become impact partners with New York based sustainable investment firm Ethic. Announcing the news on the Archual website, the Duke and Duchess began their statement by saying, When we invest in each other, we change the world. The statement content, be it through the investment of time, as with mentoring, investment in community, as with volunteering, or the investment of funds, for those who have the means to, our choices of how and where we put our energy, define us as a global community. We believe it's time for more people to have a seat at the table when decisions are made that impact everyone. We want to rethink the nature of investing to help solve the global issues we all face. Our partnership with Ethic is one of the ways we put our values in action. On their website, Ethic Detailed, they added that Meghan and Harry are deeply committed to helping address the defining issues of our time, such as climate, gender equity, health, racial justice, human rights, and strengthening democracy and understand that these issues are inherently interconnected. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had previously received Criticism for pushing for climate change action at a New York event, before heading home on a private jet. Royal author. Penny Jenner, told The Sun, I do think this is hypocrisy. I'm sure there were plenty of scheduled flights. The couple had spoken to the amassed crowd in New York's Central Park on September 25, on stage for the Global Citizen Live concert. Speaking at Global Citizen Live, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex also spoke of vaccine equity, with Meghan telling the Crowd that every single person on this planet has a fundamental right to get this vaccine. The event urged the world's wealthiest countries to pledge £70 billion annually towards the green transition in developing countries. Leaving the event in this way, according to Penny Jenner, totally muddies the waters of their climate message. They are shooting themselves in the foot by taking private flights.